All right, guys, we got some all new massive buying levels on these five stocks. These are some stocks that you guys commented as well. These are some stocks that are moving pretty fast. So I do want to give you guys some key levels. Now, these levels are pretty much hitting. Resistance levels are hitting. Buying levels are hitting. So hopefully you guys got in these plays. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Let's get this video over 150 likes. I really appreciate it. And this is the time that you guys should be coming to learn how to trade. If you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join first link in the description. Join VIP, and in there, you will learn how to trade, okay? Today, we do have a live Zoom, so if you want to catch that live Zoom today, I'll be teaching you guys about the markets. Make sure you join VIP. Now, first one, ticker symbol A-T-E-R. Ticker symbol A-T-E-R. This one, the resistance level hit perfect, okay? So ticker symbol A-T-E-R, Antarian stock. Let's go down to the five-day, five-minute chart. Look at that resistance, okay? That's what I say. Don't miss the video. I try to give you guys the best levels possible in this market. Let's get that video over 150 likes. I really appreciate it. I did give you guys two resistance levels. The first one was at $7. And then if we go back, the other one was at $8. Let me see. Right here. Oh, too, too far. Right here. So I gave you guys two resistance levels that I was looking at. But what hit today? The five, uh, let me see five day right there okay so the seven dollar level hit perfect today ran up showed a lot of resistance right here right this is why i did not buy ater today because resistance heavy selling pressure came after it and what do we get it started falling down now we do have a level down here at about six dollars but what i want to do is i'm actually going to change these levels okay so both of these buying levels are going to change we're going to take that resistance level off because it already hit we're actually going to clear all this off. So new level that I'm looking at right now, the buying level is $5.85. So I moved it down some. And depending on where the market closes, I might update you guys on this one. It just depends if this level breaks, if it holds. So let me know if you guys want to update on this one. And then when the market closes, if anything changes, I'll update you. But if nothing changes, then this will be the same level. So $5.85 is that level that I'm looking out for now. The new resistance level, $7. Actually, that's one of the old. So we're going to keep that $7 on there because I'm seeing it still as a resistance now. So from about $5.85 to about $7, that's about a 19 to 20% gain. So some nice gains we can still get in here. If you can tell, let's look at it real quick because it's moving a little slower um, on the upside than it was before. Because look at it right now, it's kind of choppy, choppy, moved up a little bit, but came right back down to the price that it ended off yesterday. So moving very choppy right now, kind of stuck. If we would have bought any of these days, we'll kind of be stuck on price right now, kind of just trapped of it going back and forth. So kind of make sure you watch out for these levels. Exit $7, buying level $5.85. And that $5.85 should act as a big level. If that level breaks, then we're most likely going to see ATR below $5. So make sure you watch that $5.85 area. That's a very important one. Video sponsored by me, All Port Traders Club. Make sure you come join the trading community. We have original signals. We have VIP signals. The difference between the two. Both of them, you get my buys and sales. But VIP has their own Discord room. So you have two Discord rooms of VIP. And you also learn how to trade. 24-7x to the recorded content, VIP content. So there's different content. The regular signals, 20% max to the crash course. And also you get four live trading zooms with me. So one a week, we actually doubled it up. Make sure you come join the buy sell signals. We also have a Forex Academy and the stock market options crash course. The better you're learning, back to the video. Next one, Twitter. Ticker symbol TWTR. TWTR. Now they did present the poison pill on Elon Musk. Now, if Elon Musk like say they accepted his offer and Elon Musk actually bought it at that premium, like $54. I think Twitter would have went to like $70, $80. I was looking for that because that would have been a huge play on Twitter. I think Twitter would almost kind of double um, in price because you got to think if he's willing to pay that much premium of a $54 a share, where do you think he sees a share price going? OK, because he's not going to pay $54 a share and he sees the price going down to $30 or something. So you have to be mindful of that. Ticker symbol TWTR. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe below. Resistance level I gave you guys, $49. That hit perfect. Ran up. Resistance and aftermarket. Resistance and pre-market. Hit it perfect on that wick. The high of that wick was about $47.85. No, I mean, that was a low. 
The high was $49. You'll see the high right there. High $49. Resistance I gave up. The resistance level I gave y'all, $49. Hit perfect. Fail. Looking for some more downward movement. I'm trying not to buy Twitter in these prices. I feel like it will go down to the 40 areas. So the massive level that I'm kind of looking at right now, it is kind of where price is now currently. It's right around that $46.50 range. That $46.50 range, that's the level I'm looking at for Twitter. Now, if Twitter goes up from here, um, I might slowly buy it because I hear I was just going to buy it one time and then hold it to go up. And the only way I was going to cut that position, like say I bought it all at once at $46.50, uh, I was willing to lose about 10% on that. So 10% would probably take us to about 42 So if I bought it at 46 and it went to 42 I'd probably cut it there. But I was going to buy all that here. So that's what I'm kind of looking forward to do right now on Twitter. I'm looking to buy all of it here, um, but if it continues to go higher, I'll probably slowly buy it as it goes higher, but I really want to get on that pullback because I do see some resistance coming in, maybe like around $50, like $50, 50 50 cents, like in that range, I'm seeing some resistance. So if it goes up, I don't want to buy it too heavy because once it comes up, it's going to pull down on that resistance and then I can buy some more. So these are kind of levels I'm looking at for Twitter. And then when I do put my position in here, if it falls to about 42 I'll go ahead and cut that position and look for the next one. So willing to lose about 10%, but looking to gain at least at least half because if he buys it, I feel like it's going to jump up to like $70, $80. So that's the main levels I'm kind of looking at for Twitter. And I know a lot of you guys actually ask me for Twitter also. Third one, Camper Energy, ticker symbol CEI, ticker symbol CEI. Now, the buying level I gave you guys hit today. We're going to go over it. Ticker symbol CEI. Let's go to the five day, five minute chart. So I gave you guys a resistance level at $1.05 and a buying level at 94 cents. This is one of the reasons why I don't see much. I don't see too much to buy right now, right? Because all these levels are hitting pre-market. They're hitting after market. They're not really hitting during normal hours. Because look at the resistance level I gave you guys at $1.05. What happened pre-market? It hit that resistance level and then it dropped down. And then when it dropped, the buying level I had was about 94 cents. It went down to maybe about like 92 cents, kind of acted as support in here. And then buying pressure came below it, right? Buying pressure came below it. So right now we could possibly get a little pullback and maybe enter to go higher, but it's not too high probable because what I wanted it to do, I wanted it to run here first and then run up to the resistance level, not hit the resistance level first, then come back down. But that could be a sign that that resistance level is a little weaker too. So we could see some movement higher. But I just want to be more, more precise on my trading because right now I'm taking less trades, but I'm buying more long term. So pretty much every day I'm buying my longs because I think right now a lot of stocks are very cheap right now. You guys, you guys know my longs. If you guys want a video on uh, the longs that I've been buying, just comment down below long buys. So I know you guys want that and I'll make a video later on that of some of the longs I've been buying. But I've been buying mostly a lot of longs right now. I've been trying to stay away from too many plays because the market, the market is going to be going up and down this year. Okay, be prepared for that. It's going to be going up and down. I don't, I don't think we're going to make a new highs this year. This will be a very year, hard year to trade. That's why I say this is the perfect time for you guys to come learn how to trade in VIP. First link in the description. Make sure you join VIP. Come learn to trade. I promise you, you will not doubt it. Now, so key levels on here. So what I'm looking for is I'm still looking for that $94 range for a buying level. But I actually have a level above price that's at about $97 for a buying range. I'll most likely have to update you guys on some new levels for CEI when the market closes. But for right now, I'm still looking at both of these levels as a buying level. I think buying pressure did kind of confirm at that 94. So we'll kind of see how that pullback is. I might enter today. I might not. But if we don't get that pullback down to at least like 95 cents and it kind of pushes up, then probably watch that 97 cents as a buying level to see prices go higher. So that's kind of the main levels I'm looking out for right now on CEI. Make sure you guys go www.willknowledge.com. Make sure you go get the merch, Will Knowledge merch. Once it sells out, I'll be releasing all new designs for you guys. Okay, so thank you for everybody that's been buying them. I have, oh, I did send out some more orders um, yesterday uh, for people that bought the shirts. Okay, make sure you guys don't forget. Make sure you come follow me, will.knowledge. Let's get me over a thousand followers. Come like some photos, comment. Let me know that you came from YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. Back to the video. So next one is Mullen, ticker symbol, M-U-L-N, M-U-L-N. Now you guys know we had a position on here, right? I sold it. I sold it because it felt weaker. A lot of FUD was going on, ticker symbol, M-U-L-N. 
and you guys know I was going to buy it again to hold it long. So I was either uh, willing to lose half of that investment. So say I put $1,000 in Mullen and I was either willing to lose 500 of that or I was willing to gain about two to three of that. So looking to times two to three or lose half, that was a risk reward I was looking for. But the levels I've been giving you guys, none of these levels have been confirming. That's why I haven't bought it yet. And good thing we haven't because look where price is now. It's at $1.73. And we were looking to buy it at $2.40, $2.50. So we would have been down over 29%. That's why I say very key levels. Just follow the levels. You'll be all right in the market. And if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you join VIP. Make sure you smash the like button. Over 150 likes. I really appreciate it. So Mullen, new level. And like I said, I might have to update you guys on this one uh, when the market is closed. Because it's literally at that level like right now. At $1.74 is the uh our new buying level now what can happen is i feel like it could run up to about two dollars so i'm very tempted to kind of buy it to run up to about two dollars uh as i'm making this video so that is a potential play that i'm looking at i've been looking at the five minute chart kind of been trading sideways not seeing really any pressure in here that's why i haven't bought yet but if i start to see pressure breaking out i probably buy it to run up to that two dollars so this is the current play so most likely I will update you guys later on uh, when the market is closed on Mullen to give you guys some new levels I'll be looking for tomorrow. But these are the kind of levels I'm looking at for today. So we'll kind of see how that plays out and see if those levels can confirm. All right, guys, make sure you get your Momo account. Second link in the description, you get up to five free stocks when you open your account. You get one free stock when you open your account up to 3500 And then you get one free stock when you make any deposit. And then you get three more free stocks if you deposit 2000 or more. So even if you don't deposit 2000 more, you deposit any amount, you still get up to two free stocks worth the, up to $3,500. Make sure you get your Momo account. Second link in the description. I am sponsored by Momo. And then the last one is Plug. Ticker symbol P-L-U-G. P-L-U-G. Let me make this ticker symbol a little bit bigger. I know some of you guys are on your phone. So ticker symbol P-L-U-G. They do have some call sweeps around like $2,750. Uh, they had a lot of call suits right there. So I'm pretty sure those are up and then they had a deal with Walmart So that's why they're pushing up and actually Walmart if we go to Walmart real quick Walmart is actually making new highs Walmart is actually making new highs. So if we go to Walmart well, where is... Look Walmart is making new highs. Okay, never doubt Walmart Walmart is a very good company have it in my long term But let's go back to um, Plug I just want to show you guys how Walmart is making new highs. That's something I was looking out for and also, I was looking at um, Target because Target might be a lagger in this market. Okay, just to remind that Target might be a lagger. I have been looking at Target uh, for potential play. But back to plug, let's take that off. Ticker symbol P L U G. We have some levels on here. It is in that resistance level that I had on the chart, right about twenty eight dollars. We had a resistance level. You can tell had a big run. Where did the run stop at? Right at that 28 level, having that selling pressure now. So that is something that we want to watch out for. And even on pre-market, it hit that same resistance level and had that pullback. So we might see this, this here. Okay. So what we see in pre-market is kind of what we're seeing now in normal hours. Kind of looks like a mirror. So let's go ahead and clear the charts. I am looking to play plug. I think that is a good deal. I kind of like it because you can never go wrong with Walmart. So they do have a uh, fuel deal with Walmart. They're the, the first green hydrogen supply contracts for plug, which has made multi-year investments in this green hydrogen network. Okay. Okay. So clean levels, clear levels. Actually, it's a pretty big buying level also. Right around $27. $27 looking for that buying pressure to come in on plug. That's what we're looking at. And then for our first exit, I want to take it up to about 30. So as plug is moving, I don't want to buy it just yet. I actually want to buy it tomorrow because I want a little pullback. So the first exit around $30 will be about 11%. And then we can probably exit half to see the other half kind of run. I'll manage it out in the Discord room um, tomorrow when I do decide to buy. I don't think I'm going to buy today. I kind of want to wait to see if we get some pullback. But if it continues to shoot up, then we'll just have to wait for the entry to kind of see it. But main two levels, I'm kind of looking out for plug. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to learn how to trade, make sure you email me, willknowledge77 at gmail.com, willknowledge77 at gmail.com if you want to learn how to trade. Always remember, no trade recommendation advice or anything. This is for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.